please lay out a little bit the picture of where the link really is of what's happening with this current crisis, COVID-19, contraction and death in our immunity system. That's right. And thank you for that. Because, you know, we've known this for years that this type of emergency and pandemic could occur because we're all making ourselves cancer prone because we're eating ultra processed foods. We're creating food addictions and the population is becoming overweight all over the world. And we have a um, population of overweight, malnourished people who have excess calories while they're still deficient in micronutrients. And by micronutrients, we're talking about vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and antioxidants, particularly the phytochemicals and antioxidants. When we take in empty calories, calories with no micronutrient load, we cause immune suppression and immune system deficiencies, and we inactivate the normal defenses of our immune system so viruses can invade, replicate, change their DNA and become more dangerous, and then evade capture and set up inflammatory, and we call it a cytokine storm, in that viruses can set up an, um, pro, a pro-inflammatory state that causes a lot of mucus and, and interferes with breathing problems. And this is occurring in, in an immunosuppressed population. These problems don't occur in people with excellent immune function. And you can only have excellent immune function if your body is well nourished with this huge spectrum of micronutrients present in the plant kingdom. So what I'm saying here is that green vegetables might be the most protective food for immune function. And using that as an example, without a person who's eating an adequate amount of green vegetables, then we can't expect to have a normal response to a novel virus like, corona, like COVID-19.